Hello, my name is Mark Shipman Mueller. I'm the product manager for cameras and lenses at ARI. And we're here at IBC 2009, and I'll give you an introduction to all the new camera products. So this is the Alexa camera, the camera we've released in June of this year, as announced at IBC a year ago. IBC 2009, we said we would release the Alexa. In June, we released the first Alexas, and the response has been tremendous. We have had so many orders, we have so many requests for Alexa, so much feedback on what to improve, what to change. Um, the first cameras are out. Lots of first cameras are out. They're working. We're building them as fast as we can. And two days ago, we announced the availability of Software Update Packet 2.0, which now gives anybody the ability to record with the Alexa ProRes footage onto SPS cards. And that includes not only the ProRes 422 codex, which we talked about IBC 2009, but now we also have all the ProRes codex, ProRes Proxy, LT, 422, 422 HQ, and 4x4. All of them you can record with Alexa onto the SPS cards. So what has convinced cinematographers and producers to choose Alexa is the amazing image quality, the workflows for the Alexa, and the product quality. In terms of the workflows, you can record ProRes onto SPS cards. Alternatively, or at the same time, you can output HDSDI on these BNC connectors, or you can output Airy RAW on two of these BNC connectors. All of that can be done at the same time with the Alexa. And the image quality is amazing. With the new software update, we have 14 stops of exposure latitude, and that is across the whole sensitivity range from 16 to 1600 ASA. So one exciting new feature of the Alexa we're introducing with the software update packet 2.0 is that the Alexa can act as a web server. Right now, if you have the Alexa updated to 2.0, you can plug any laptop into the Alexa, open the browser, and you will see a basic remote control interface web page there sent by the Alexa to the laptop. The other thing we're showing here is a prototype of a Wi-Fi box that makes the Alexa a Wi-Fi base station and I could use any iPad, for instance. And on the iPad, I have remote control of this Alexa. I can change frames per second if I so choose. I can do whatever I want with this Alexa. And that is just built into the Alexa, the web server functionality, and the wireless network capability will come in January of 2011. Here at IBC, for the first time, we are showing a prototype of the Alexa Plus. You can upgrade any existing Alexa to an Alexa Plus, the Alexa Plus upgrade will be available in January of 2011. Now let's look at what's different about the Alexa Plus. As you can see, the right camera site is slightly different. It's a little wider to accommodate the radio that we're using for our wireless remote system. And as you can see here, I have a wireless control unit 3, and I can then remotely control the lens directly from the wireless control unit. In addition, the wireless allows me to start and stop the camera. I have an extra monitor output on the camera and an extra RS 24 volt power accessory output. The Alexa Plus has special BNC connectors that I can change from the outside without disassembling the camera. We found that BNC connectors do break frequently. And it has built-in motion sensors that give the people in compositing a basic idea on where the camera was in space. So that's the Alexa Plus. The Alexa Plus is priced at 7,900 euros more than the regular Alexa. So it comes to 57,900 euros. And as I said, availability January 2011. We have two of our new accessories for the Alexa here. The first of these accessories is the low mode set LMS3. This is a plate that can be attached to the camera with three feet that allows me to mount the camera in a low mode on a steady cam on a remote crane or upside down on a 3D rig. I can also take the feet off and mount the plate directly on the camera for the lowest possible profile. The plate is designed with numerous 3816 holes here on the top. I can use the viewfinder mounting bracket directly onto the plate and also the regular Alexa handle screws directly onto the plate. The second accessory we have is a new remote control for the Alexa. This is the remote control RCU4. As you can see, it essentially duplicates the Alexa's control panel. So once you know the Alexa's control panel, you can also operate the RCU4. It is relatively small. It is a bulletproof area device, so it won't break if it falls down on the set and it grip steps on it. And it attaches to the Alexa 
with an Ethernet cable that goes from here directly to the Ethernet port of the Alexa. With the Alexa, we introduced a set of zooms, the Ari Fujinon Allura zooms. And as with the Alexa, we started shipping those lenses as we promised. And we've already sold out on the first batch of lenses. They're very, very popular. These are two zooms. There's a wide zoom and a long zoom. Here we have the Ari Fujinon Allura 18 to 80 millimeter zoom. It's a T2.6 zoom that has very, very good image quality, very low distortion and is perfectly matched to the Alexa. However, it also will work on film cameras if need be. So this is the Allura 45 to 250 millimeter lens, also a 2.6, matching the Allura 18 to 80 lens, perfectly designed for the Alexa camera, but can also be used on film cameras.